Hi everyone. So we are here again to discuss another problem from University Physics. So today, we will be talking about problem 27.4. A particle with a mass 1.81 times 10 to the negative 3 kilograms and a charge of 1.22 times 10 to the negative 8 coulomb has, at a given instant, a velocity that is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 4 meter per second j hat. What are the magnitude and direction of the particle's acceleration produced by the uniform magnetic field B, which is equal to 1.63 tesla I hat plus 0.980 tesla J hat? So in this problem, consider a particle with mass M, which is 1.81 times 10 to the negative 3 kilograms, in a charge Q equals 1.22 times 10 to the negative 8 coulomb. And at a given instant, it has a velocity of 3.0 times 10 to the 4 meters per second j hat. We need to find the magnitude and direction of the particle's acceleration produced by the uniform magnetic field given by 1.63 tesla I hat plus 0.980 tesla g hat. So from Newton's second law, the force given is equal to mass times acceleration. And the magnetic force is given by F equals QV times B. So equating these two expressions, we get MA equals QV times B. Or, to get the acceleration, we have QV times B over M. So, we substitute with the givens. J and I hat will cross to get negative 0 0.330 meters per second squared K hat. So, A is on the opposite Z direction. That's why it's negative. And it is perpendicular to both velocity and magnetic field. Hi, so we're here again to solve another problem from University Physics. We will be talking about problem 27.12. A horizontal rectangular surface has dimensions 2.80 cm by 3.20 cm and is in a uniform magnetic field that is directed at an angle of 30.0 degrees above the horizontal. What must the magnitude of the magnetic field be to produce a flux of 3.10 times 10 to the negative 4 Weber through the surface? So we consider a rectangular horizontal surface that has dimensions A equals 2.80 centimeters by B equals 3.20 centimeters. We need to find the magnetic field magnitude that produces a flux of 3.10 times 10 to the negative 4 Weber, where the magnetic field makes an angle of 30.0 from the horizontal. The area points perpendicular to the plane of the rectangular surface. In our case, it is vertical. And since the angle between the horizontal and the magnetic field is 30, then the angle between the magnetic field and the area is theta equals 60 degrees. We are asked to find the magnitude of the magnetic field. So the magnetic flux is given by phi sub b is equal to ba cosine theta. But the area of the rectangle is equal to length times width, and in this case, it is a times b. So Magnetic field is equal to phi sub b over a b cosine theta. So substitute with the given, we get 0 0.692 tesla. That is the value of our magnetic field. Hi everyone. So another problem will be solved today in University of Physics 14th edition. So today, we will be talking about problem 27.17.
A 150 gram ball containing 4.0 times 10 to the 8 excess electrons is dropped into 125 meter vertical shaft. At the bottom of the shaft, the ball suddenly enters a uniform horizontal magnetic field that has a magnitude of 0.250 T and direction from east to west. If air resistance is negligibly small, find the magnitude and direction of the force that this magnetic field exerts on the ball just as it enters the field. So in this problem, consider a ball with mass m equals 150 grams, which contains excess electrons n sub e equals 4.0 times 10 to the 8 electrons. It dropped into a vertical shaft with height of y equals 125 meters. At the bottom of the shaft, the ball enters a uniform horizontal magnetic field that will be shown later on the figure. Where the magnetic field is a magnitude of B equals 0 0.250 tesla and direction from east to west. Given that, the charge of the electron is negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb per electron. So we need to find the force acting on the ball just as it enters the field. First, we need to find the final velocity v when it exits the shaft and enters the magnetic field area. Neglecting the air resistance, we can find the final velocity using v squared equals v sub 0 squared minus 2 gv. Since the ball falls from y to 0, the displacement would be d equals 0 minus y equals negative y. And the initial velocity v sub 0 is 0. So we get v equals the square root of 2gy. So substitute with the givens. Therefore, our V is 49.497 meters per second. Now, we need to find the charge over the ball, which equals the excess electrons multiplied with the charge of the electrons. So that is Q equals NQ sub E. So there are 4.0 times 10 to the negative 8 electrons times the charge of the electron that will be equal to negative 6.408 times 10 to the negative 11 coulombs. The force acting on the ball is given by F sub B equals Q times V cross B. Since the charge is negative because those are electrons, the direction of the magnetic field to the west the direction of the velocity is vertically downward. So according to the right-hand rule, the direction of the force is out of the page or south. The angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is 90 degrees. So the magnitude of the force is the absolute value of Q times VB sine theta. Substitute with the given values we get Fb is equal to 7.93 times 10 to the negative 10 newtons.